when they feed the dead to the living you know you living in prophetic times today we're going to examine this death washing machine that they call aquamation it's where they liquefy the dead remains of a person then they dump the remains down the waste system and for those who know how your public waste system works it's recycled back into your municipal water supply back into your home this process is happening around the nation in different states you would ask yourself what are the ramifications of doing this practice of recycling the remains of a person in your consumer products in your home we're going to examine the process of liquefying the dead remains of a person. Let's examine this. And then, as you can see, we slide the body into the machine here. And then, as you can see here, there's a spray bar that's right here that actually places water into the machine and this is all done automatically. So what we're doing is we're actually taking the natural process of decomposition and we're speeding that up. And what happens is that it dissolves the body over the course of about a three to four hour time frame. And then the fluid goes over to the accumulation tank and then the bone and any of the prosthetics that are left over are on the tray when we open up the unit. And if you look here, you can see we have a drawer that's absolutely full of prosthetics over the course of time. You can see everything from pacemakers to little tiny stents that, are, that you can see during this process. The other thing that makes us unique from flame cremation is all of the different polys that are here. These would all be burned up and this would create more CO2 gas. This is actually methyl methacrylate known as bone cement. And this also would never be seen in a crematory because it would be gone. You see hernia mesh here. And then you can also see all of the different teeth that we can take out afterwards. We allow our bone to dry just at room temperature so we don't create any of a bigger carbon footprint. It takes about four to five days for the bones to dry here. And then they're processed in a standard cremulator that, that every crematory has in the world. But we just place the bone into the bottom of here. You can see the larger femurs. Here I actually found a little suture in this person yet. So this allows us to make sure that all of the suture and all of the mercury and everything has been removed out of the person. Just place the cover on here like so. Ground up ash actually looks just like this when it's all done. So it's, it's fine white, pure white calcium phosphate is what we're looking at. of a real witch summoning demons and trapping them inside cans of water inside this very warehouse sits the entire inventory of liquid death mountain water each can is about to be infused with real demons by a real witch a lot of what i practice can be considered traditional witchcraft what you're about to witness is very real very dangerous and in my opinion a terrible idea we enter into the dark half of the year. Now is the time of the dead. I ask you, spirits, those who are listening, I invite you here. I offer this water as a vessel for you to come into this world. When the cans are opened, you are released. 
I welcome you. Now is the time of the dead. Demon infused liquid death. If you drink it, will you become possessed? So I'm going to leave you in the manner in which I came with a universal prayer. In the name of the universal creator of heaven and earth and everything in between, please continue to bless my listeners, their family, their friends, and the true believers for when the day of reckoning takes place. For universal creator, you are all wise and all knowing, and unto you we all shall return. But until then, we give you the praise and glory that is due to you from this life into the year. In the name of the universal creator of heaven and earth and everything in between, in your name we pray that this shall be done. Also, family, get yourself a copy of the Black Universal Creators Watch of Laws, Morals, and Precepts. The paperback's available on Amazon, ebooks on Kindle. And for my subscribers and my supporters, you can go to theblackawaken.com and get your discount on ebooks. Again, like and share. Reach one, teach one, peace, and take care.